Hello everyone, this is Redacted Origin, and welcome to Entity Room. This is a horror game by a developer I've played two other games from, Missing Hiker, and also Driving Home, which I loved both, so I'm excited to play. From what I read from the description, we are tasked to feed some sort of entity and make sure we clean up. Let's jump right in. February 18th, 1987. First day at the news section. I hope everything goes well. Let's instantly leave. I don't want to be here. Alright, we have a flashlight. I love the way these VHS type uh, filters they have in these games. As long as it's not too heavy. I think it adds a lot of uh, aesthetic to the game. Oh, I don't know why that just scared me. <laughs> First two seconds in the game, a door shuts and it scares me. Ooh, I gotta clean this up. Who's knocking? How do I use it? Uh, I can't use it yet. Okay, we'll put it back for now. We'll come back to you. Maybe I'm supposed to check in before I do anything. That's how good of a worker I am. Okay, I guess we're going to be sleeping here. So I have a hand radio, a locker, a bed, a desk. And something's deadly behind me here. Okay, calm down. No need to try to jump scare me this early. We have three rooms here. We have a hallway. The operator's room. Let's look at uh, room one. So we have one person there. Smashing his head against the wall. One person sleeping. One person just relaxing, chillaxing. Into tea room. It will not let me look. All right. Doors. So I'm kind of, without even reading the email yet, because I think it wanted me to read the email first. I can either let people out to live or into the into room to die. Description of entity 014. Yeah, this is like SCP. Highly dangerous, of terrestrial origin, bipedal, uncanny, human-like appearance, skin doesn't reflect light, glowing red eyes, body mass consists mostly of human meat, develops more human-like appearance over time, it doesn't kill prey before eating, extremely agile, can jump far distances, 040884, total power failure, resulting in E14 escaping the room and killing the operator, 1786, redacted, oh my god, it's something about me, what could it be? Disclaimer, by partaking in this operation, you agree that the Entity Research Facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. Hello, my name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of the onboarding for you. So, your job is actually pretty easy. The Entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner. To do that, just open the door, R1 in, through the computer. After it has eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open the door, R1 out, through your computer. You'll need a strong stomach, but you'll get used to it. First throw body parts, if there are any left, into the container. Then clean the blood with your mop. Best regards. Okay, so I have two cho I have two choices here, right? I have to I can let the people out and probably get some kind of crazy ending or let them in. And we're just gonna go. I wanna see what happens when we feed this thing. So we're gonna do the in ending. If there is multiple endings, I'm not gonna do it twice, but we're gonna just do this and see what happens. Let's start with uh, our one in. Oh, come on, I wanted to see. I feel like he's going to be inside one of the rooms at one point because it says he doesn't reflect light. So I think he's going to be, like, camouflaged, and I'm probably going to die from it. But we're going to find out.
Well, this is disgusting. I wonder what happens if I overfeed him. See all these different options, all these different variations. We're going to shut this door, though. We have a new email. Hey, good job. Looks like you're a natural. Have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays, they even have a night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool if you ask me. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, while the entity is eating, the CCTV is taken offline. We don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're done for the day. You can go to sleep already if you want. Tomorrow will be pretty similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. So he's watching me. Okay, I'm gonna try to go to bed now. And we'll see what happens. I don't want to turn the lights off first. This seems terrible. Ooh, I don't like that. I'm telling you, I think this thing is just gonna be in here and just gonna destroy me. But we're gonna play the game exactly how it wants us to play. Okay, great. Good morning. You probably saw the lights aren't working. Don't worry. It's basic maintenance on one of the electrical generators. It's just the lights. Everything else still works fine. Just use your flashlight. Today you'll be pretty similar as yesterday. We do R2 in, and we have a feast with the prisoner in the R2 room. The entity wants breakfast. Don't let it wait. P.S. Don't forget to clean the room. Oh, it's a lot more creepy out of here with no lights. Wow. All right, let's feed the uh, let's feed this guy to him. Sorry, buddy. I'm looking for any glowing eyes. Any glowing red eyes? I don't see anything. <laughs> yes, yes. You're not that scary, buddy. You just explode these people like they're nothing. But you know, that's not that scary. Great work. You did it again, dude. You really are natural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche. key. But trust me, those people we're feeding to the entity are scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they're allowed to contribute to this experiment. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. Yeah, that's great. Anyways, our research on Entity 014 could lead to breakthroughs not just for the military, but for also medical purposes. Anyways, keep that in mind when you're doing your work. P.S. You're done for the day. I'm sorry, buddy, but, uh... You are not doing anything to improve medical research with this thing just destroying people. But that's okay. We're to keep on doing our job. Ooh, what's happening? Why is there something open? Day three. Hey, day three. Not that exciting now, is it? Usually that's the point where your work is becoming a boring routine. Anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, take a shit, bust a nut, go to sleep. I'm just joking, haha. It's important to have a sense of humor working in the environment like this. Anyway, tomorrow a new batch of prisoners will arrive. Fresh meat. Don't worry. They're handcuffed and our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure the rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. P.S. The entity room camera works again, thanks. Ooh, I am super curious. Oh my 
my god. Oh, that just scared me. It was a freaking eyeball. So it's a giant T-Rex. Great. Before we do anything, though, I swear something opened up. Was it upstairs, or was that like a dream? Oh, I guess it was a dream. I can't leave. All right, let's let's let this guy be done. I'm going to sit here for a second to make sure there's nothing inside there. Are you hiding in there, buddy? Does not look like it. That looks crunchy. That looks crunchy. I don't know why this guy got so much worse. Holy crap, he didn't eat any of them. He just, like, slashed them up. Oh, don't like that. The amount of work it would take to get this much blood off the ground with this little mop is astronomical. Let's shut the door. And I guess that's it. We have nothing else to do besides go to bed. This developer does a great job at jump scares. I know something bad's gonna happen at the end. Read this. They want to get rid of you, Hyde. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. Well, I wasn't expecting that. That's, that's great. I just got destroyed by the entity. I heard the door open and I thought soldiers were coming in, so I was like, ooh, shit, I gotta go hide. I'm gonna hide in this locker behind me. Not get jump scared from across the way, and I just said that too, so wasn't expecting that. So overall, that was a very good game. Very short. Um, another banger from the same developer I played the other two games from. I'm excited to see what else you make. I definitely recommend playing this at home if you haven't already. I'll leave a link in the description. That last jump scare got me really good. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating from it. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next thing we play. Bye.